I'm going to screen share in a moment and show you how you get your member that's given you a testimonial to do all of the things that you want them to do. <laughs> On this BNI education start, I'm going to do something slightly different because I'm going to screen share and show you how to do things that are, I think are important to help you in your in your BNI business. And and this is specifically about testimonials. When you receive a testimonial within BNI, the testimonial is typically read out within the chapter. All of the members hear it. All of the visitors hear it. All of the BNI guests hear it. You hear it, and then it disappears into the ether. Nobody does anything with it ever again. It's important that that testimonial doesn't just die within the chapter because that testimonial is a credit to you. It's a, it's telling other people how great you are and what great work you've done and that another member, another business owner values the effort and, and the work that you have done for them. So you want to make sure that is seen by as many people as possible. But from the purposes of the person giving the testimonial, they get their five points on the traffic lights. They've had their contribution that week. They've read out the testimonial. They've handed the bit of paper to you. They've handed it to the, the vice president or whoever they give it to. That's their job done. They really don't need to do anything else to get any more any, any more credit within B&I. So you want to prompt them. You need to say, look, can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? And can you do this for me to make sure that testimonial goes where you need it to go to help your business? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now, recently at B&I, I had a, a fantastic testimonial uh, from the, the travel agent, a lady called Emma Latham. Hi, Emma, if you're watching. Uh, we built Emma's website at Engage Web, and she loved it. Fantastic. Read out a brilliant testimonial for me. So I'm going to use Emma as uh, a guinea pig here. Sorry, Emma. Uh, it happens. So I'm going to use Emma as a guinea pig. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, sh I'm going to screen share in a moment and show you how you get your member that's given you a testimonial to do all of the things that you want them to do. So let's click the button and hope that this works. And I'm going to move that over there. Apologies for not looking in the right direction. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to share screen. Fantastic. So you should be able to see a screen with me on it and our logo. So first off, let's pull in LinkedIn. We are all familiar with LinkedIn. We want to get recommendations on LinkedIn. So if a member has given you a testimonial, it's brilliant if they then add it as a recommendation on your LinkedIn. But not everybody knows how to do that. So you can make it easier for them by asking them to give you a recommendation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to search for Emma Latham. Uh, she's getting loads of publicity in this ad slot. Sorry, Emma. Uh, so we click on Emma Latham. There she is, fabulous travel agent. If you need any of your travel bookings, Emma is the person for you. So we've got Emma's profile here. You see there's a more button next to message. So when you are connected to somebody, you'll see this more. If you click on the more and scroll down, you'll see request a recommendation. So you click on that button, it then opens up a box and you have to choose the relationship between you, oh, it's, it's staggering for me, uh, the relationship between you and the person you're requesting the recommendation. So it could be that they managed you, you reported to them. Those are typically when you work in the same organization. So it's going to be all the way down here. Emma was a client of yours. So yes, Emma was our client. We built the website for her. She gave the testimonial in BNI. I want her to, to recommend me. So I click on that. Position at the time, this is where you select the role that you have that you wanted to give the testimonial for. It should be your most recent role normally. Uh, so this is helping to make you the online authority within your industry at Engage Web. That's me. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to customize this message here. It doesn't really matter what you say, but you, you want to make it personal to the person. Uh, hi, Emma. Oops. Oh, that's the thing. When you delete in LinkedIn, it deletes the space as well and goes back to the next word. So it's very easy to make a mistake. Hi, Emma. Would you be able to add that BNI testimonial for me? As a recommendation, please. Thanks. There we go. Click send. And that'll work for a few moments. 
and Bosch, that's gone. So Emma will receive that as a message on LinkedIn. She will then be able to click on that message in LinkedIn and just paste the testimonial straight in there. So it's nice and simple for her to do. So anyone who gives you a BNI testimonial, you want to do that on LinkedIn so that they then add it to your recommendations on LinkedIn. And if I go to my profile, you won't see Emma's obviously because she hasn't done that yet. I've literally just sent it to her. If we scroll down to the bottom of the profile, all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, all the way down. These are the recommendations. This is where they appear down here. So I've got 42 recommendations. So you want to make sure that anybody gives you a BNI testimonial, you do that for them. So that's LinkedIn. Uh, we also want it on BNI Connect. So you log into your BNI Connect. Um, let's just see, let's make this nice and easy. So let's go to the start. So you log into BNI Connect. This is the home of BNI Connect. This is what you'll see when you log in. If you go to network up here and then you click on testimonials, you should see, there we go, a list of people that testimonials received, testimonials given. I don't use this as much as I should. This is on me. I should use this a lot more. So what we need to do is click on connections and everybody who's in your chapter should be a connection already. If they're not a connection, you can add them as a connection. If it's people from other chapters, you can add them as a connection. And here's Emma as a connection. So I click on Emma and it goes through to Emma. So we've got Emma's details here. Get in touch with Emma if you need to book, book a holiday. Uh, we can send a message or ask Emma for a testimonial or write a testimonial for Emma. So if you've given a testimonial to a member in BNR, you can go in here and just add it directly. But I can ask Emma for a testimonial clicks up here as you can see it already pre-populates it uh let's change that hi emma would you be a i'm gonna stop talking while i'm writing because i confuse myself to perfect and then click submit bosh and that's been submitted. So Emma will now get a notification on BNI Connect to add that as a testimonial on BNI. That's the second one. And then the third one I want to do is Google Profile. So we go to google.com. Everybody should have a Google Profile for their business. I'm going to search for Engage Web, which is us. This is our Google Profile. Now, what it should do, it's being annoying with me now, it should drop down the links here so that I can edit that profile because I am logged in as it. Uh, but unfortunately, Google is being a little bit of a funny monkey with me and it's not showing me that. So I'm going to give that one more go. Then I'm going to try reviews. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go through the back end of Google to do it. Uh, oh, now it's done it. You see it's dropped in there. This is what it should have shown first time. Google is a law unto itself. So sometimes it shows this, sometimes it doesn't. But because I am logged in as the profile which has edited this profile, I am able to do this. So this is our Google profile for Engage Web, And we have a link here for Ask for Reviews. So you will have this for your Google business profile. You click on this and it's really easy. It gives you a link that you just copy. So you can copy that link and then email that to Emma. Now, I've already emailed that to Emma because this is what gave me the idea for this education slot. So if I email that to Emma, what happens when you email it? And if I open up a new tab and bring that in here, so Emma will see that link. She'll click on that link, and this is what it will do. Bosh. Opens up the review. So as soon as anyone clicks on that link, it opens up the review. Uh, all they have to do is paste that review in there, click five stars and click post, and then the review has gone on for you. So that is what you do to get your BNI testimonials better placed for you to help you on social media, adding them to BNI Connect, adding them to LinkedIn recommendations, and adding them to your Google business profile. So do not let BNI testimonials die in the room. Make sure they go out onto social media and they show the world, all of your potential target clients and customers, how great you are. Make the most of your BNI testimonials. Thank you.